Indie Intel. It's our segment where we like to take an indie game uh, on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or just something we think looks slick, show it some love, try to get some eyes on it. Today, Josh, we have Poppy Playtime. That's right. Which is touted as a horror game that's actually got gameplay. I like that. It's an interesting little tagline there because... You know, a lot of these horror games are walking simulators where you literally just walk back and forth. And listen, no, not trying to rib on any games that we've played recently, but there were games that we played recently where you simply walk into a room then walk back and then you walk back and you walk back and you walk back and you don't actually do anything. You pick something up, you write a letter to a demon, you slide it under the door, the demon writes back. You write on it again, you slide it under the door, the demon writes back. Really on the nose here. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm allowed to critique. Um, Absolutely. And this is a game that's touting that they've actually got some gameplay. So uh, I'll delve into a little bit more details here. Poppy Playtime is a single player first person horror puzzle game, which is the best kind of game being developed by Mob Games with Isaac Christofferson from St. Louis, Missouri as the game director. Ooh, is this a first time Missouri feature on Indie Intel? I believe it is. I, I believe it is as well. Uh, They say about Poppy Playtime, you must stay alive in this unique horror puzzle adventure. Try to survive the vengeful toys waiting for you in the abandoned toy factory. Use your grab pack to hack electrical circuits or nab anything from afar. Explore the mysterious facility and don't get caught. So it's a horror game that takes place in a toy factory. Josh, I know you're a huge fan of child's play. uh, (laughs) Ironically. I am not a huge fan of Child's Play. That is a <laughs> false statement. Uh, dolls still scare me. Not like this, though. Yeah. This is like not animatronics, but, uh, you know, well, okay. There's a doll behind me. I just lied. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, by the way, this right here is not good, this doll. So <laughs> I, in, the, in their Kickstarter trailer, she like just, dude, this is really, really not good. Ready? I'm going to do a play-by-play for this. So here she's just looking at you. And then you scroll a little bit and her eyes move just like a centimeter towards yep. the camera. That's not good, folks. It's not good. It's bad. It's okay. scary. All right. And there's no jump scare with it, nothing like that. So it's it's cool. Yeah. Uh it's got like a little bit of a five nights at Freddy's feel to it, but I do like the grab pack. Essentially it's like two hands that you can extend out and grab things. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna be using that to solve puzzles, grab things, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um the game is actually planned to have multiple chapters. So mm-hmm. Got a cohesive story here releasing in, in chapters. Yep. Uh, each chapter is going to release separately and is planned to cost four ninety nine, which is cheap. Very cheap. The game is currently on Steam, available for wish listing, and the Kickstarter is available now. Uh, they have like 20-something days left, and they've only raised $411 Ooh. out of their goal, which is 45000 So Folks. we really need some help with this one, guys. If you want poppy playtime to be a reality you gotta back it on kickstarter the link is in our description that's right and then wish list on steam too huh? ignore my alan wake background um uh yeah i just want to make sure that the uh steam store is indeed up because i think it went up yeah it is okay poppy playtime yep. make sure you wish list it i just added it to my wish list and yeah the game looks slick cool I like it. You have anything else you want to add, Brett? No. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Josh and Brett really need you too. I love them. So do it. It would be a shame if you miss more of their videos. Hit the notification bell too, so you know when there is a new upload.